Greetings all. It's the Devious Monkey here. Got some shit to show you, because I was a busy monkey yesterday procrastinating doing day job work, so I got a lot done around the house. This is by far the most important thing that I'm going to show you, and I'm going to show you with a smile on my face. Check it out. Okay, there's one, and I didn't have to do it all ghetto. Well, not as ghetto. I just had the cable like staple gun back there, and it runs along the window jam. And then over here, we've got number two. That one also runs along the wall and then down and follows the closet trim into the socket. And even if it was just hanging from the freaking ceiling down in the middle of the room, I wouldn't give a rat's ass because the most important thing is, is that it has now made this room actually comfortable to be in. It is in the 90s, maybe low 90s, but every degree over 82, you feel it in this office, and you've heard me bitch and moan about it for years. I've tried everything from, all right, they had that vent there. I had them install that vent there. Then I had them put an intake right above my desk so that the hot air from all of the devices would be sucked up into the intake and then put through the AC system and cooled. All of that helped a little bit. Each piece of that puzzle came together to help, but not enough. The only thing that ever worked was having the AC in the window, which you've heard me say, the douchebag HOA president walks around here with a pad and a pencil and writes down each little infraction that he finds. So I had to remove it. Somebody had suggested that maybe I put these fans that go in the ducting. Now, the one that my buddy suggested to me literally like goes inside the ducting. You had to have the HVAC guy come in there. I think he said he did it himself, but I'm not climbing up in my freaking 180 degree attic to do that shit. So I decided to get these vent fan thingies instead. They were 70 bucks each on sale. Literally, I had to do a little bit of hammering to get this one to fit in there because the venting was bent a little bit but they fit up in there just nice. I was able to use the available, or like the screws that were with the old venting and get them up there so they're not gonna fall. I had plenty of cord, cause they're 12 feet, to get to an outlet. And as soon as I put them in and actually read the directions and figured out how to program them and everything, now they blow the cold air from the ducting into this office more than the trickle of what was coming in from the actual HVAC system because I am the farthest away from the HVAC unit itself. I have it set so that when the AC system does come on and starts blowing, this will detect the temperature of the air coming through the duct and it will kick the fan in and you can go between one and 10 and they were defaulted to five. If I don't say anything, can you hear them? I mean, I can hear them, but it's not even as loud as if I had that fan blowing. They're just not that loud, and I wouldn't give a shit if they sounded like a roaring freight train because they are doing the job of cooling this room down. Now, is it as cool in here as the rest of the house? No, but I wasn't expecting a miracle. What it is, is it's comfortable and I can be in here and I don't have to strip down and have three fans blowing on me and still schwitzing and bitching and moaning. It actually did the job. Today, again, it's in the 90s outside. I haven't been outside yet with the exception of taking the garbage out early this morning, but my wife just left from coming home from having lunch and she opened the door and I, and I felt it hit me. It's sweltering outside. So that means it should be hot as balls in here and it's not. And I've been in this office all morning with all the equipment on that would normally be on. And I would be freaking just dying right now. And I'm not. I'm very comfortable. So success, finally. And now you don't have to hear me bitch and moan about it unless these things break. But knock on wood, all is well. Okay, now we're going to go outside and I'm going to show you what I did in the Forerunner because I got all that new RAM mount stuff. Okay, kids, so here's what we did. I installed this RAM mount device here, which basically is an arm and it has a little ball head that I have put into this piece on the dash. And I, what I did was I had to take the entire center console out and it's really easy. You pop the bottom off, it's just held in by tabs and there's one little cable that you have to disconnect, which is easy. You pop that off and then there are four bolts in there 
10 millimeter bolts, you pull those out, and then this portion just pops right off. Once you do that, then you have access to this. Now there's plenty of room in there for me to do what I needed to do, which was basically drill a couple of holes to get that piece in there. And then I was able to thread in some smaller bolts and get the nuts on this side and screw it down and hold it into place. So this is really sturdy, it ain't going anywhere. Plus I've got it all completely tightened down so it definitely isn't going to come loose. And if I'm sitting here, basically you can see that it's perfectly in view. Now I also put another one of those pieces here so that this has this one handed operation. And I'll show you that. So basically now all I gotta do is just go like that. It extends up and it comes out. Before I had that X thing and you had to squeeze the thing with one hand and get the phone situated just right. Now all I gotta do is just go like that. Now I have the top and the bottom side pieces on both sides here just to hold that into place, but I only did it on those two pieces right there just so it doesn't fall off one way or the other, which it wouldn't because this is holding really tight. But like I said, they didn't send me enough hardware, so I kind of had to pick and choose how I wanted to do it, and that's what I decided on. So once I got all that shit back in here, and then here's my normal RAM mount thing that I use for the tablet, you know how that's installed and how I have it all set up with some bumper there so it isn't slamming into the center console. And then of course my rig that I use to hold up the Insta360 ONE RS. And then I took off that mount there that I was using for the, well, for this camera, for the a7 IV, because it got so hot up there and that Velcro was a reused piece that it was not holding it down at all. And I thought for sure that it was gonna peel off and fall. So I wasn't gonna do that. So that was the conclusion of the two big projects that I needed to do. And now I'm good to go. Everything is done. I think I'm gonna go to three ships and get some bean. So that's everything that I've been like keeping in my melon here that I needed to get out. But for now, let's go get some bean. All right, that's it. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.